In an earlier video, I had mentioned the importance of knowing what size you're working with and making objects that are to a certain scale, especially if you want things to fit together, like putting bearings into a spinner. It's important to know how large the holes are that you're actually making. Now, if you want to go ahead and change the size of an object, when I click once and drag out a circle here and click a second time, I'm still in the edit mode, so you'll notice it's blue, and there's a measurement in a box here, and I could go ahead and type in a number. If this isn't an option, so if I were to click away, now I have a circle, and there's no real way for me knowing how large it is in actually editing the size, I can use what's called the dimension tool. It is either the shortcut D, or it's this icon with two arrows between two lines here. If you want to change the dimensions of something, you simply click on the line that you want to scale. So if I click on the line of the circle, I have a number, and I can actually place this number anywhere if I want to place it all the way out to the side, so it's out of the way. Once I have a dimension, I can again go ahead and just type in any number and actually change the size of that object. You can go ahead and just made my circle two inches here. This is also useful for knowing the distance between objects. So if I went ahead and if I created another circle that was say one inch, I could measure the distance between these two circles by grabbing my dimension tool, clicking on one line, and then clicking on a second line. And it'll actually give me the measurement directly between these two objects. So I could specify I want them one inch apart. Now, you can't over dimension. So say that I wanted to know the distance between this circle and the horizontal work plane line. It tells me that it's one inch 0.46, about. If I said I wanted this to be three inches, I'm gonna get an error message. And that's because I've already specified that these two circles have to be an inch apart. So I can't possibly make this circle three inches away from this line because of this measurement. If I were to delete one of these lines by simply clicking on it and then hitting the backspace key, it'll go ahead and resolve by moving my part to my original dimension. And again, you can actually dimension anything in any line. So if I were to put a rectangle here, I could go ahead and dimension a side or another side, and you can actually go ahead and set different scales and measurements using the dimension tool.